What is going on guys, it's Andrew back again with another video, and in this one, we just had the Sugar Fright game mode uh, that just came out on the 3rd, I'm recording this video, we got 7 days left of it, 14 day event, really cool, we got kill confirmed in the game, but uh, do we expand on this idea of new game modes? Because obviously, we had, we had, you know, the new game modes at the beginning of the game, uh, when it was first announced on the roadmap, never got them, finally got a new game mode. That is a uh, could be in the game. I could see it being a staple in the game. But do we expand on this? Like, do we add other modes like Team Deathmatch or like, like you know, something like that, right? Or Search and Destroy with these bigger maps, right? From Cobb. You know, do we add something like that in the game? Because, like, in my opinion, I would love to see that. A lot of people are using the Sugar Fright game mode to warm up instead of T Hunt, and they saying and they're saying their aim is better and it's working, and it's really good for them, right? So I, that's when I got the thinking, I'm like, dude, is this, should we have more game modes than just bomb and hostage and uh, secure the area in the game where we can get some respawn game modes in? Like, I feel like this would be really cool to have. You get casual, you get your ranked, you get all that stuff, your customs, but do you also put this, like a kill confirmed team deathmatch in the game, but it's not like, you take out all like the holidays or whatever, or whatever you want to do with it, right? You take out all that stuff and just make a normal map. Dude, because in my opinion, I think the player, I think you've seen a lot more people playing this game. Since you didn't have to do all the strategy and all that stuff, you can just work on your gun skill and all that, just playing normal game modes. And then when you actually go into the game, that's where you work on, you know, all your gadgets, utility, all that kind of stuff, like rotates, strategy. You know what I mean? I'd like, I like. I think I would love to see that, because then I could focus on my gun skill one day, and then focus on my strategy and strats or you know whatever I'm doing in the actual game. I think it'd be interesting to see that, because right now you really don't have anything. I mean, you see games coming out like a long time, well, not a long time ago, but when Valorant came out, the thing was in beta and it already had a better practice mode than Siege, and Siege was out four years at that point. So that's kind of like, you know, it was back in, that was back in April, I think, of this year. But yeah, so things like that, like, instead of making a practice mode, do they just put this in the game? You know, do, do we add more game modes, like Hardpoint, Search and Destroy, Team Deathmatch? You know, do we add custom game modes instead of just updating the game and getting it kind of stale, I guess? I say, yeah, I think this is a great step in the right direction with the Sugar Fright. I think if they can... I think people were talking about like new spawns. If they can get like a new spawn system, because a lot, of, a lot of people have been getting spawn trapped on a sugar fright, and they've been saying it's pretty annoying. I really haven't. I haven't had. I have not had it happen to me on the game mode yet. Because when they come in, I just kill them, right? So, but apparently people have been getting spawn trapped with it. So. If you were thinking of making like new, can you get spawned out? You know, can you just spawn the other team spawn, and then you flip spawns like that? And that's an interesting concept, which kind of gave me the thought again of like new game modes. Cause dude, if you take that map and you put hard point into it, right? You have the first hill, you know, the first point like at that center building, and the second point could be in one of the two other side buildings, you know. Cause you could have your first point in the middle where the purple hut is and then your four other points on the two left side buildings and the two right side buildings you know i think that'd be cool and you could just use that map for it as well like i don't think you have to make another map you could just make more game modes in that map and if you kept expanding on it eventually yes you want to change you know add more maps i think that'd be interesting though because like i think more people would like like that feature but you still have the main game as siege but you also have this other like option to play if you don't want to play the main game you can play like this side game mode i think that'd be cool and you just want to hop on siege play a little bit but you don't really want to play like siege siege you want to play like the side game modes i think you get a lot more people playing it and a lot more people on your game you know i don't know i just thought it'd be a cool thought to throw out there i want to see what people think about it um because i heard people cons I, I heard people's concepts for it and how you can do it so i thought it'd be really cool anyways if you guys did enjoy the video make sure you like comment subscribe before i end the video i'm going to be streaming on friday november 13th when black ops cold war comes out and we're going to be streaming zombies 
for most of the day. I'm gonna be playing with friends too as well. So they're gonna hop on. So if you wanna tune in, I'm probably start streaming around like 12 Eastern, around there. Set everything up, get everything ready. And then uh, we'll probably hop in with some friends. We're gonna try to help with the Easter egg, learn the map, but we probably won't get the Easter egg like right away because they're really hard to do, obviously. But we're gonna try to get as far as we can and have fun, all that kind of stuff. So if you wanna tune in, my Twitch is in the description as well as my Twitter. Um, so you can go follow me on those and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, everyone.